Hello beautiful people. Thank you so much for tuning in, watching, and listening. This is going to be the mid-September 2023 reading for the zodiac sign of Aries. As always, my readings are very intuitive, so I'll provide you with any intuitive messages that I receive, as well as the meaning of the tarot cards. I do, however, recommend you check out your Sun, Moon, and Rising just to get a full picture of everything that's going on for you this month. And if you haven't done so already, please do subscribe to my YouTube channel. When you subscribe, that helps me greatly, and you'll be notified when I post new content. With that being said, though, let's go ahead and jump in and get started. In column number one, we're going to take a look at what's wrapping up and coming to a close the last few weeks or month. Column number two, we're going to take a general look at what's coming for the remainder of September. We're also going to do a money column, a love column, and the fifth and final column. We're going to do a message from our future self or spirit guides. We'll also do three yes or no questions, a crystal of the month, and a healing note. But again, Aries, let's go ahead and get into it here. So pulling a summary affirmation card for what's wrapping up and coming to a close, we have the card friction. So this kind of goes one of two ways. There could have been some friction. There could have been some conflict, some issues these last few weeks, Aries. The other thing, though, is when things start to move, they rub together, and that movement causes friction, causes heat. So this could be things moving forward, or again, it could have been a little bit of conflict, a little bit of friction. So... Two different meanings, obviously very circumstantial depending on what your experience was. Sorry, just adjusting this. Sorry, I didn't realize how far off we were today. Much better. Okay, let's take a look though and see what other messages I have for you. So first up, we have the Hermit. The Hermit is a card of going within for clarity. Um, when I see this, this is all about doing what feels good at your core. Uh, what feels good at your heart? That's where that clarity comes from. Um, we could be isolating a little bit too because of this conflict. Like It's almost like every time you get together, there's an issue with this person. So I see us just kind of withdrawing, giving some time and some space. But I think you're trying to figure out what's going on. Uh, so again, going for that clarity, Aries. And then again, just kind of withdrawing a little bit, separating from the conflict. The next card that we have is the Five of Wands. The Five of Wands is a card um, of rivalry, obstacles, challenges. I always tell people this is small bumps in the road, but it does, again, seem like there's this conflict that just keeps coming up. I see kind of a reoccurring something or other here, Aries, that we're trying to work through. So... Uh, unfortunately, I think for many of you that friction is more conflict. And then at the bottom here, we have the Queen of Cups. The Queen of Cups, though, is a card of healing, support, nurturing. Um, so I do feel like we remedied this, but it took a little bit of time apart. It took a little bit of reflection. I think we needed more understanding. Again, we needed clarity on what was driving this issue. But I do think that this was likely resolved, which is good to see, because, again, it was kind of like in this pattern. It was a, a reoccurring thing, it seems. Taking a look at our clarifiers, first up we have the Page of Pentacles. The Page of Pentacles is a very patient card, so it makes sense. Again, we took kind of a step back, isolated a little bit from the situation, gave things a little bit of time. This is also oftentimes a money card, so perhaps this conflict had some connection to money as well. The next card that we have is the Page of Cups. This is very studious, very hardworking. Uh, I think this is the desire to work things out, the willingness to work things out, which is great to see. Um, so I love that. Again, it's putting in the effort to resolve this conflict on both sides. It is also a love card, so lots of love for this person that we are having this conflict with. And at the bottom here, we have the Ace of Cups. Anytime we have an Ace card, it's a card of newness. With the case of Ace of Cups, this is new baby, relationship, proposal, marriage. Um, this is a new start for this relationship. And again, of course, somebody that we love here. Worth fixing the friction. Worth fixing the conflict there, Aries. Okay, now taking a look at our next column, we have a uh, summary affirmation card. So this is what's coming for the remainder of September. We have the card productivity. I love this. I love to get things done. Uh, that's what like wakes me up in the middle of the night. That's what motivates me. I'm very much so a get things done person. So very productive next few weeks coming for you, it seems, Aries. But let's see what messages we've got. Um, but keep that productivity top of mind now's a good time to crank some things out 
But taking a look here, first up we have the Tower card. The Tower card is a card of unwanted change. Um, I always tell people you can plan for A, B, C, and D, E, F uh, ends up happening. The nice thing is, is I feel like you're still getting things done. It's just not maybe the way you planned on getting things done. So keep an open mind there. The nice thing about the Tower card is it can be a course correction card. It puts you exactly where you need to be. So again, maybe not what you thought you wanted but where you need to be. So things are getting done, just not in the way you would have thought they would be getting done. The next card that we have is the King of Pentacles. The King of Pentacles is very solid, practical wise. This is very much so an investment card. Again, now is the time to invest in getting things done. Again, crank things out. I know I keep saying that, but that's the message I'm hearing. So now is really a good time to get shiz done here, Aries. Um, this is saying a good investment of your time, your assets, whatever it may be. Uh, this is a good investment, a good place, uh, a good time to get things done. At the bottom here, we have the Seven of Pentacles. The Seven of Pentacles is a card of waiting. I feel like you're dragging your feet on some of these things, but in reality, we need to get them done. So just be aware of that. Um, especially for things that don't go as planned that will make you question like, oh, maybe I should wait and try this again later. That doesn't seem to be the case though. So I would keep pushing forward even if things don't seem right. I don't know that I would wait. Um, all of these are kind of go cards here. Taking a look at our first clarifier, we have the Eight of Wands. Again, a go card. Speed, action, quick change. Now is time. So even if things are not working out as planned, um, really is the time to get things done here. The next card we have is the Queen of Pentacles. The Queen of Pentacles is again a resourceful card. This is about using your resources in the appropriate way. The message here is yes, now this is the time to put in the energy, the time, the money, whatever it may be. Um, this is saying this is a good investment times two with the King of Pentacles, now the Queen of Pentacles. At the bottom here we have the Knight of Pentacles. The Knight of Pentacles is again a waiting card. I just don't think now is the time to wait. Again, I think there's things you want to drag your feet on, but these cards are saying you need to go. Now is the time. Um, the Knight of Pentacles is also hard working, so put in the hard work now. Okay, let's take a look at our next column, which is anything related to money. So a quick money message to start us off here. Your vibrational connection to abundance shifts based on your company you keep. Surround yourself with those that believe in healing and the flow of financial freedom. So in this call, we're going to talk about anything related to money, job, career, finances, businesses you run, investments you have, whatever you associate with money here, Aries. First up, we have the Ten of Pentacles. Love this. The Ten of Pentacles is a card of leaving a legacy. It's a card of long-term security. Um, it's doing the right thing. So I feel like you're setting yourself up well. You're leaving your legacy. You're paving the way for your legacy right now. Some of you could be retiring as well. This is very much so a retirement card. So congratulations to you, those of you Aries that are retiring. This is also like lump sum or inheritance. So a nice money card here. So there could be some uh, lump of money coming in, which we always love. That's great news. The next card that we have is the chariot. The chariot is a card of action change. It's about being on a journey. Um, somebody once described this to me as the vroom vroom card and it's quite literally that, things moving. So I like this. Um, this journey that you're on, again, you're setting yourself up well for success in the future. So keep doing what you're doing here in terms of money here, Aries. With the chariot card, this can also be a card um, of getting a new vehicle. And I say that because money, investments, new vehicle. So you could be getting a new car, which is also super exciting. At the bottom here, we have the Ace of Cups. Anytime we have an Ace card, it's a card of newness. This is typically a new baby, relationship, proposal, marriage. Um, I want to hone in on proposal. So I do think there's some sort of new opportunity coming here. I think for a lot of you, it's this opportunity to buy this car maybe, or perhaps an investment opportunity coming off of this lump sum of money. Uh, I feel like there's opportunity here. This could be relationship driven though. So there could be a relationship that's uh, new and important as well in terms of money or career this month, Aries. Taking a look at our clarifiers, first up we have the Hierophant. This is very traditional, very conventional, um, very day-to-day, same-same. So it makes sense for those of you that are retiring. Again, you're breaking out of that day-to-day. -day. 
for those of you again i feel like a lot of you are just setting yourself up for this legacy setting yourself up for success which is wonderful uh keep doing what you're doing keep doing that day-to-day -day, that traditional that conventional um that that routine uh it's setting yourself up for success which is great to see the next card we have is the Ace of Swords. Anytime we have an Ace card, it's a card of newness. This is new ideas, new clarity. Um, I think you're going to get some sort of validation. Maybe it's for me, but I think it could be something much grander. Um, here are Aries this month that's like letting you know that again, this action, this change, this journey, this legacy that you're leaving. Leaving is the correct thing. It could also be clarity that you need a new car. <laughs> Sorry to say that for some of you, but the exciting thing is, is you're getting a new car. Um, at the bottom here, we have the Page of Wands. Woo, excuse me. The Page of Wands is a very active card. I just see you taking a very active role in things right now. So again, keep up the good work. Keep up that day-to-day. -day. I know sometimes that can be hard to do, but I like where we're uh, where this is leading us here. Okay, now let's take a look at our next column, which is anything related to love. So starting out with a quick love message here. Acceptance is the key to inner peace. At times we must accept things as they are. There's no point in trying to change that which is beyond our control. So in this column, we're going to talk about anything related to love, family, friends, relationship, children, marriage, whatever you associate with love here, Aries. The first card we have is the death card. The death card does not mean death, but it does indicate a big change, uh, some sort of transformation coming here. So I feel like we're going through transformation in this relationship, a significant change is happening. Uh, again, doesn't mean death, but does mean change. It also means time to move on, but I want to clarify that because it doesn't necessarily mean you need to like move on from a relationship, but it is time to transform. It's time to advance forward. So the grass is greener on the other side and we need to get to that grass is greener on the other side there, Aries. At the bottom here, we have the King of Wands. The King of Wands is a very bold card. It's a very powerful card. It's a card of courage. So again, taking these next steps forward, um, I don't know exactly what this transformation is for you, but this is the courage to move forward. This is coming through like as a power move here, Aries. And at the bottom here, we have the Sun card. The Sun card is a card of material happiness, joyous outcomes, success. So I love to see this. There's a lot of happiness, a lot of joy, a lot of success in our love and relationships right now, which I love to see. Again, I don't think this is relationship ending. I know this card says... Um, time to move on but it doesn't necessarily mean moving on from the relationship it's moving forward let's take a look at our clarifiers though first up we have the four of swords the four of swords is a card of like renewal um and this kind of ties into that advancing forward again there's just so much to gain we are almost renewing this relationship by taking this step forward the next card that we have is the Three of Pentacles. The Three of Pentacles is a card of collaboration. So do make sure that you're communicating. Um, communication is important here. This is also about putting your best foot forward, giving all of your um, effort or like giving 100% to this relationship. At the bottom here too, we have the Four of Cups. The Four of Cups is a card of apathy or lack of fulfillment. I love to see this on top of the sun card because I feel like you could be feeling kind of meh right now. You could be feeling some apathy, some lack of fulfillment. Um, and it's gonna be quite the opposite then with the sun card coming in, uh, bringing in wonderful things, that happiness, that joy, that success. So great to see there, Aries. Now let's take a look at our fifth and final column, which is a message from our future self or spirit guides. We have the card renewal. Really nice way to end here. So renewal of energy, renewal of happiness. Um, there's lots of new coming in for you this month, which we like to see. Oh, you're going to get another renewal card right off the bat there, Aries. But let's see what cards we've got here. First up, we have the star card. The star card is a card of renewal. So double message of renewal here. Um, getting inner clarity, having hope, really being refreshed. So I like that refresh and that renewal times two for you. The next card that we have is the Queen of Swords. The Queen of Swords is very self-sufficient. I feel like you need to make sure you carve out some time for yourself. 
uh, make sure that you are getting this sense of renewal. At the bottom here we have the four of wands. Um, this is like getting something across the finish line. You see this kind of looks like a finish line here, Aries. I think you could be wrapping something up. You could be getting something done for yourself that's giving you this nice sense of renewal. So I like to see that. Um, looking at our clarifiers, we have the Three of Swords. The Three of Swords is a card of healing. Um, again, it's not so much healing as we are completing something that's giving us this sense of renewal. We have the Six of Wands, which is a card of victory, award, success, completion, good news. So again, there's something we're doing for ourselves. We're getting across the finish line. We're getting done. It's giving us this nice sense of renewal. At the bottom here, we have the Nine of Swords. The Nine of Swords is a card um, of needing to renew. This is like feeling low, anxiety, grief, depression. So there's some healing here, some low feelings. Again, we're getting something across the finish line. Potentially there is something specifically that we're healing from that's giving us this nice sense of renewal. But I like to see that you're doing this for yourself here, Aries. Okay, now at this time I'm going to give you the opportunity to ask three yes or no questions. We're going to use our Gypsy Witch fortune telling deck. If you don't have three questions in mind, you can pause the video and think of them really quick. But question number one is the two of spades. This is number 34 card. That's going to be a yes. Question number two is the six of spades. This is number 29 card. That's going to be a no. Question number three is the three of spades, the number 10 card. That's going to be a yes. So yes, no, yes. All spade cards there for you, Aries. Um, if you watched our video earlier this month, we did pull a card from our healing stones deck. This is a crystal to keep with you through the month of uh, September. Your crystal this month is Moonstone. It's very feminine, helps for devotion. It's great for intuition and kind of keeps the crazy at bay. Uh, last but not least, we're going to pull a card from our healing notes deck. Aries, your healing note says, the only courage that matters is the kind that gets you from one moment to the next. Thank you so much for tuning in, watching, and listening. Please like, comment, subscribe. Let me know how this video resonates with you. Again, subscriptions help me greatly, and you'll be notified when I post new content. Also, I did include my Venmo in the comments box if you'd like to make a donation. But thank you so much, Aries, and I hope you have a wonderful uh, rest of your September.